Can AI change the way that you manage projects or the way that we consider projects in the future? Well, with tools like Microsoft Copilot now coming into the new Microsoft Planner experiences, we're able today to have a glimpse of what that future looks like. Because yes, today I'm going to get hands on with the new Copilot experience in Microsoft Planner Premium. We're going to see how it can create us a brand new project plan, how it can also create tasks and subtasks, create buckets and create goals that we can track against inside of our plan. But alongside that, we're also going to see some of those limitations that Copilot can't do for us today. And also understand that where potentially it could go in the future and how that could transform the way that we view projects and manage them in a not so distant future. So before we dive in, I'd love it. Hit that like button to let me know you like this content. Even better, hit that subscribe button to find more great content like this. And let's dive in together and get a glimpse of what the future holds when it comes to Copilot in Microsoft Planner. So let's get started with the new experience for Copilot using the new Microsoft Planner. Now the new Copilot is only available for the new Planner experience. And you have to access that through the new Planner app in Microsoft Teams. If you're unsure how to do that, then check out our recent tutorial on this channel, where we check out how to use the new Planner Premium and how to access it through Microsoft Teams. Now assuming you've now got access to that Planner, and you also have the appropriate licensing, which we'll discuss later in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create ourselves a new plan. We can go down and select new plan from the bottom left of the planner app in Teams. And we now have access to a range of templates. And yes, you've seen these before. But remembering that Copilot allows us to create plans and they're not from templates. So in this scenario, we're not going to use any of these templates. Instead, we can go over and select a new premium plan because yes, Copilot is only available through premium plans. It is not available in the basic or free version of Microsoft Planner. So once we go ahead and select premium, we can now give our plan a name. And optionally, we can also attach it to a Microsoft team or group to share it with your colleagues. Or optionally, we can also leave it as a private or personal plan that only you have access to and you can manage it yourself. Let's go ahead and add in a name and set this up as one of our group or team plans. With that now done, we're going to go ahead and click on the Create button and a new plan is going to be generated using Planner Premium. And here's our new plan. And as you can see, there's not much going on. No, there are no tasks whatsoever. There are also no project goals. And also, we only have that single bucket inside of our plan. So we now need to spend a couple of hours generating our plan, or do we? Because now we can use Copilot to help us out. If we go over to our grid view to see all of our tasks, we'll then go over to the Copilot button in the right hand side of Planner. By selecting this here, we can now begin to ask Copilot to create some tasks for us. So in this scenario, I'm working on a project for Project Green Space, transforming an area of land into a thriving community area. But I need help with creating those tasks. So, can Copilot go and create that for me? Well, let's go ahead and ask Copilot with the scope of that project to generate some tasks for us using the Copilot sidebar in Planner. So, our prompt is now complete. Here, I'm asking Copilot to go and build a plan for Project Green Space. We're going to be transforming that urban area. We need tasks that are going to focus on the scoping of the project, engagement with the community, and development of the land and then planning permission and transition to the community as well. And also I need tasks defined with the relevant subtasks. So I'm not giving Copilot that much information, but I'm guiding it into the, some of the phases that I would expect to see as part of this project. Now with that done, let's go ahead and send that into Copilot. And Copilot will analyze that just like we see in Microsoft 365 and begin to build us a project plan and tasks aligning to it. And there we go, we can now see Copilot has responded, confirming it's created all of those tasks. But what has it created? On the left hand side, as we can see, the project plan has now had a number of tasks and subtasks inserted within it. You can see here we define scope the project and then have relevant tasks under that. If we open each of these tasks, we could add further detail, including the durations and who the resource has been allocated to to complete those tasks. 
but also as we scroll down we can see additional areas engage with the community develop the land planning permission and transition to the community and we only have 22 tasks here but it's a good start now of course copilot can also add further tasks we do have a number of tasks here but what if i forgot a topic or an element comes up later can copilot insert tasks for us and it of course can once again, we'll go into the Copilot button on the right hand side. This time we're going to ask it to add some tasks in the plan. And I'm going to add some tasks to arrange car parking in this new community space. I missed it out on the plan, so I'm going to need a task and subtask to ensure we track that. Let's go ahead and ask Copilot. So as we can see, I've asked Copilot to generate those additional tasks. We can also see them actually be inserted live inside of our plan. We can now see a new area of construct necessary infrastructure, develop the community car park with all of those elements underneath. I never told Copilot the specifics, so it's worked that out and inserted those relevant tasks. So we've now seen a plan being generated by Copilot for us, and all the additional tasks that I haven't even provided detail on being added into our plan. That may have taken me an hour or so to complete it myself. I've actually completed that in less than five minutes. So that's a valuable use case of new Copilot experience in Planner. Before we get Copiloted out, are you struggling in Microsoft 365 and unsure where to turn? Well, if you need help for you, your team or your business, check out more about your 365 coach at the link below. We can provide coaching, consulting and masterclasses on demand to improve how you use Microsoft 365 tools and ultimately, the tools that you already pay for. And of course, if you need to find out more about how you can use 365 in a better way, check out our free Microsoft 365 ebook on our website. You can download a copy for absolutely free today and find out more. Otherwise, let's dive back into Copilot and Planner and find out what's new. So what else can Copilot do for us? Well, we here have a board view and we only have one bucket called bucket one. This is very similar to what we see in Planner generally. And I could go ahead and click on add bucket and add all the relevant bucket names, but that may take me 10 minutes or so. Instead, we can have Copilot do it for us. Let's go ahead and ask Copilot to create some new buckets based upon the different roles in the team. And here I'll select that option. Copilot will take it away and generate those buckets for us. And there we go. In seconds, we now have a design team, engineering, marketing, sales, and HR team. However, as we've also seen, they may not be relevant to our project, but it has created those buckets on a broad idea of team roles. Of course, you could be more specific with the buckets to get more relevant results when you need to add the buckets with Copilot. And what about goals? Your project has stages or goals that you need to achieve, and we'd like to track against them inside of our plan. But once again, our blank project that we created doesn't have any goals set. And certainly you can go and add a goal yourself and type in the relevant name. But I would like Copilot to help us out with that. Let's go and ask Copilot to generate goals for our project and then help us create them that we can track against as we move forward. So here we now drafted our prompt to Copilot and we're asking it to create goals based around these broad ideas. Yes, you will need to provide context to Copilot. It won't yet be able to use your task to work out the relevant goals. But this prompt took me a couple of minutes to generate. Let's go ahead and send it in and have a look at what Copilot generates for those goals in your project plan. And there we go. We now have goals set by Copilot. You can also see it's added in some timeframes that it's actually invented itself. But we could go in here and manually adjust any of the content that Copilot creates. And we can also connect relevant tasks into our goal as well to ensure it fully aligns to where you need to work with. So can Copilot help us with resource management, understanding who has most tasks in this plan? Now, as we can see here, I had a conversation with Copilot about this plan. I simply asked it who has as a resource most of these tasks assigned. And actually the answer would be easy. It's myself, I have four tasks in the plan. No one else has any tasks. But as you can see, Copilot was unable to find any detail in the plan about resources, which of course is a big limitation. It then asked for more detail on the plan and I gave it the plan name. 
Now, very useful that Copilot then provided more information. And you'll also can consider that this information is not within the plan. No, what it's actually doing is the Copilot experience is looking across Microsoft 365, being within Microsoft SharePoint and Teams, and it's pulling back relevant information regarding the project that it found elsewhere. So I can actually work out the project and who's assigned to it. But sadly, from a planning perspective, it seemed to be the information inside of my plan around resources was largely unavailable to use. And that's one of the big limitations right now. We can't do much around resource management. Likewise, if we looked into the additional areas around the timeline, and I was to also ask it questions, we'll find similar results. Let's go and ask it around planning to understand when the tasks are upcoming and if there are any tasks coming up this week. But in a similar way, we find the same answer. There are tasks that are due this week, but yet again, Copilot can't identify those tasks in the plan. So once again, a bit of a big limitation. We would also want it to catch information about tasks and when they're due, asking a question about overdue or upcoming tasks would certainly save us a lot of time. But as yet, the Copilot experience can't deliver that to us right now. And what about Copilot chat? I think Copilot chat is one of the better experiences in Microsoft 365. It's very similar to ChatGPT. But on that basis, could we go and ask Copilot to find out and summarize a plan for us that exists in the world of Planner? Well, that would be awesome if it could do that. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Copilot that question to summarize a project plan for us. But as we can see, sadly, the same response is back. It can't find information on that plan. And of course, it would be ideal for us to go and ask a question across any of our apps, including Copilot Chat, to get an idea about where we're up to in our task management by a simple question. Hopefully, we'll see something in the future at least, but certainly something that we sadly can't use today. So let's consider licensing. How does this new platform work with regards to licensing? We're using Copilot inside of the new planner. Well, unfortunately, it does require additional licensing. You will, of course, need the Microsoft 365 Copilot license to use Copilot across Microsoft 365. In addition, you'll also now need Project Plan Free to access it, which comes at an additional cost over what you would need to access Planner Premium. So with that in mind, at least right now, the Copilot experiences may be reserved to certain people within your team or organization. Yes, if you have people that are managing the plan, creating tasks and more, well, absolutely, this may be valuable to them. Would a project member? Well, it's unlikely they'll need to use Copilot because they wouldn't be using the capabilities that we've seen that Copilot provides today inside of the Planner Premium experience. So as we wrap up this preview of the new Copilot experience in Planner, I would say it's got tremendous potential. Yes, you may only want to use the new capabilities if you're involved in project administration today, creating tasks and plans and more. But for others that need a tool that be able to help resource management, understanding upcoming tasks, highlighting risks or issues in your project, well, the new Copilot experience today doesn't deliver on that. But that doesn't mean that it never will. As if all the Copilot experiences in Microsoft 365, it's still very early days. And if those capabilities come into the new planner experience of Copilot, we could be having a very different conversation and consider in a future that we manage projects in a different way. A simple question to Microsoft Copilot could generate a whole wealth of information that we can use to plan better and understand where our projects are at and take action where needed. And while that's the future, well, I hope we get to. But in the meantime, I hope this provided an invaluable resource to help understand what's possible today with Copilot and Microsoft Planner Premium. And if it has, hit that like button to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to find more great content like this to turn you into a productivity superstar with the tools that you already have. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.